what happened to the friends we made along the way? Didn't I used to have like dozens? I remember barely fit all of them inside my mom's house in my ninth birthday. You will lose one or two growing up, sure, but they just keep coming. All the way through high school and college, your second family is your everything. You can't wait for the weekend to come to leave work and get lost in the night with them. I remember having so many appointments throughout the week, I couldn't rest any single day. And those days will never end, right? Right? So yeah, what happened to them? Well, I don't want to brag or anything, but I've managed to maintain the incredible amount of one 20 years plus friendship and two 15 years plus. And that's pretty much it. My wife and I have been together for 13 years and that concludes my close circle. Now that my daughter is in, that's the closest I've been to a new friend in decades. I may sound extreme, but I don't want to stick with my childhood friends just because I have known them for a longer time. Most of them doesn't deserve me. I didn't deserve some of them, and one or two deserve to be in prison. Once the shit hit the fan, you have two options. Stay to suffer, or let that train pass. At this point, I firmly believe I have run out of station. If they make your life harder than it already is, they're not your friends. They're just people you grew up with. And it's time to outgrow them. But hey, once or twice in a lifetime, you find a friend that stays through it all. A friend who completes you in a way no one else can. And who is always there for you, no matter how far you are from each other. And that's exactly what the protagonist of this video is all about. This is not exactly a story. This video is a request for Games Workshop. Kotrek and Felix was the first 100 book series I started. That first instance with the 90s side cover got my attention in the bookstore, and the rest is history. I'm a proud owner of every main entry of the series and have no plans to stop now. But if you are a fan like me, you will understand the pain when the end times came. Gotrek suffered the worst of fates during that era. He was not only doomed to fight forever in a different world, not only stripped of the glorious death that would have cleansed his soul, but also was separated from his best and only friend in the worst way possible, the lack of searching. Gotrek does not know what happened to Felix, and we neither. When I started reading it, Godric was the coolest guy on all literature. He still probably is in Age of Sigmar, though I like the Warhammer Fantasy one better. As a sword guy myself, I identify a lot with this dwarf slayer, as much as with Gimli from The Lord of the Rings. You can see a pattern there. I was impressed by his resistance, his skill, and by his loyalty. And oftentimes, I saw Felix as a burden, even as a comic relief in occasions. He wasn't as amazing as his partner, and I struggled with his presence of some of the books, especially in the first era. But as I grew up, I found myself liking Felix more and more. He was a simple human, a fantastic warrior nonetheless, but a mere mortal paired with the fear incarnated, the vivid representation of the graph of a dying world. He didn't only follow his steps, but he improves as a fighter with every entry, and their characters managed to keep me hooked for decades. It was a match made in heaven. Zombie Slayer is probably my favorite book on the series, and I think it shows, right? But now, Felix is gone. I like the last books as much as the next guy, but something is missing. 
the inclusion of new characters is fine and all, and Gotrek has found his own voice. He has become a true main character, with no need of a part to speak for himself. And we're getting to know him a little better even. But where the hell is Felix? I refuse, refuse to believe he is dead. That would be an insult to the character and a missed chance. I like to think that this is no rescue mission, that GW is not trying to get Godrek through the deepest levels of hell to save Felix from the hands of, I don't know, Nagas. That's why I'm making this diorama. First, to get Godrek a worthy base to decorate my bookshelf. And second, to reserve a special place for Felix. I know, I absolutely know, that somewhere in the future we'll live to see a Felix Mini. And I really hope the story around will be epic. That Godrek will be surrounded by hundreds of enemies as usual, with a cliff on his back and a certain death in front of him. And that a red cloak will cut through the snow, sworn in him, coming to the aid of his long lost friend, to fight together one more time. Now as equals. Now, as brothers. This is a petition for GW. Please feel free to send it in the comments with the hashtag BringFelixBack if you want to see the return of this hero in the coolest way possible. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and please don't you ever, ever dare to tap out.